Hey guys, it's me again, and tonight I decided to do something bold. And for Valentine's Day, if you're daring enough to try this, I, I would. Um, it's a bold red lip with very light, light eyeshadow. Very light browns. And this is a, I think it would be a great Valentine's dinner look. I think it's a lot of fun. So if you're really willing to try it, um, stay tuned and I'll show you how I got this look. Okay guys, to start this look, I'm going to use Urban Decay Primer Potion. And just pat it on my lid. And blend it out with my finger. And a little bit extra, I'm just going to put underneath my bottom lashes. Okay, I'm going to start with Vanilla from MAC, and I'm just going to be using an eyeshadow brush, a fluffy one. Any light color would do, as close as your skin tone. I'm going to put that all over my lid, and up to the eyebrow mode. Next, I'm going to grab Cork from MAC, and I'm just going to be using, I think this is an e.l.f. brush, it's just a blending brush. I'm going to put that in my crease. And I'm just going to use windshield uh, wiper motions to blend it out. Circular motions also. Next, I'm going to be using a color from NYX, and this color is called Chocolate. I'm going to be taking a, a MAC 219 brush. It's just a dome shaped brush that's pretty dense, and I'm going to be using that. Um, just to make the crease a little darker in the corner for a little bit more definition. Just gonna work that on this side. Kind of bringing it out a little bit on the edge just to make my eye look a little elongated. Next, I'm going to be taking my fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend out those colors together. Again, concentrating on blending the edge out on this side. And for my highlight, I'm going to be using Dazzle Glass from MAC. It's just a shimmery, it's almost like the vanilla one, but it's just a little, it has a little shimmer in it. I'm just going to be using my fluffy blending brush to actually apply that under my eyebrow and blending down to get rid of any lines and I'm going to be using that as a highlight for my inner teardrop, tear duct and corner of my eye. Okay, I'm just making sure it's all blended. Then I'm going to take my dome brush again and I'm going to take that quart color and I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my lower lashes. Since I'm not going to be putting any eyeliner under there, just for a little more definition for the lashes itself. Next I'm going to apply a white coal pencil. This is Rimmel and I'm going to apply that on my waterline just to help make my eyes pop a little more. You'll probably have to reapply this during the night if you actually use it because it kind of goes away fast. For my eyeliner tonight, I'm going to be using Eye Studio by Maybelline and it's their black. It's a, it's a gel liner. And I'm just going to be using a 208 angled brush. 
There we go. And I'm going to do the best I can. I need a new one. It's kind of frayed. But yeah, I'm just going to apply it. I like to start from the middle and then work my way to the inside corner. Working all the way down. And I'm actually going to wing it out a little bit. And I think the angle brush works really great for doing that. It makes it a lot simpler. Just gonna mark my little spot like this. Like this. And just wanna kind of smooth it out and connect it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> And next, I'm actually going to be applying a set of false lashes. They're the 301s from Mod Lash. They're the accents. So I'm just going to put some lash glue on those. I'm using the Duo one and the white one that dries clear. And they're just corner lashes. So I'm just going to put a little glue on the bottom. Try not to put too much. I mean, it does dry clear, but, oops. Gonna wait till that gets tacky. And then I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers just to help me a little bit. And I'm going to let them dry a little bit. It makes it easier to put the actual lash lashes on then I'm going to hope that I don't screw this up. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in the corner, close to the lash line. Oh, sorry. Then use my tweezers to kind of put it where I want it to be. I like to push up a little bit. After the lash glue is dried, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris Double Extend um, Beauty Tubes Mascara. It is absolutely my favorite. It leaves no mess when I remove it, and that's why one of the reasons why I love it. So on the top, I'm just going to be using the mascara side. I'm not going to use the white part. I'm just going to apply that to my lashes. And just blend them in together. Ooh. And that is my dog Frankie, if you heard him growling. He likes to bark at everything that walks by. But honestly, he weighs like 10, 12 pounds or something. He's a tiny little thing. Okay, for the bottom part, I'm going to be using the, the white wand part. And I'm just gonna apply that to help make my bottom ones look a little longer. Since I'm not gonna be, since I'm not using any um, eyeliner underneath. goes. Sorry about that. Frankie almost made me poke my eye. Okay, for my cheeks I'm going to be using Max. I'm going to be using Well Dressed. It's just a pink color. I'm 
I think I'm going to not apply it right to the apples of my cheeks. I think I'm going to keep it to the side. I'm just going to apply a little bit and smile a little bit. And then work it up to the um, hairline. Just to add a little bit of color to the face. Even though the lips are going to be really bold. <laughs> Blend it out. And now time for the fun part. I'm going to be using Besame's Voluptuous um, Lip Color Set in Red Velvet. And this is what it looks like. Okay, I outline my lips with the pencil that it comes with. And I'm going to fill in a little bit underneath the line, just a little bit. Next, I'm going to take the lipstick. And just fill in the rest. And this kit also comes with um, a cute little lip brush. I'm just going to use this to blend it all out. And that completes um, this very bold red lip look. So if you're daring enough to wear it, go for it. Um, the eyeshadows are very simple, they're very basic. And you can also pair this um, eye look with any other bold lip colors that you have in mind. Bye guys, happy Valentine's Day.